really need a big one today. Well, don't we every time? Oh yeah. This might be the one, guys. Oh yeah. Oh. Told you, green pumpkin. All oh, guys, this is a good fish. I'm shaking. Shaking, shaking, shaking. Where do I go? Where do I go? Do I know? Yes, I know. It's foggy out here this morning. Chris Brandt, the beef shaman, out on Lake Hodges. <laughs> go figure. Let's make it happen. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers. This is the longest it's taken me to catch something in a while, but I am trying a brand new area. I was watching a video about how 41% of the bass live in no-nothing flats. Like, no structure, nothing. You know, using GPS on them, they find, found these. I was trying a couple of new areas today to see, can I find the bass in the areas where nobody goes because we don't think there's any bass? And so far, there's no bass. All the grebes are here, so I know there's fish, because the grebes wouldn't be here. Now, last week I lost a really good fish over here, thrown a Ned rig, one cast. You guys, if you watched the video, you saw that. That might have been the biggest fish of the day. And I don't know why I threw six pound test up in the sticks, but you know, sometimes we do stuff. Feels like a nicer one, too. Oh. Oh, not, in, <clears throat> not as nice as I thought, but got our stink off and got a fish. All right. Whew. I went from a mud bottom to a sand bottom and instantly it changed. Smaller one, but still a fish. Mud bottom, no. Sand bottom, yes. Man, demolished it. Again, that clone size. Back to using the uh, green pumpkin jig. Old standby. Really need a big one today. Well, don't we every time? Oh yeah. This might be the one, guys. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. Told you, green pumpkin. Oh guys, this is a good fish. I'm shaking. Shaking, shaking, shaking. First, I gotta make sure my video's on. <laughs> so you guys can see this. You guys ready to see this? You guys ready to see this? Oh yeah. Look at that one. Look at that one. Six point four five. Yes. Let's see how long this one is, guys. All right, guys. Beautiful. And there she goes. <laughs> yes. Another yes. Did I say yes? <laughs> Woo! I think I need to check for phrase after that one. Oh, yeah. Trust your gut, guys. Man, that's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. You know, I was going to cruise by this spot and just try reaction baits, and I said, no, nah, I think I need to slow down. I think it's another bigger one. Not, not as big. Yet. fun today you know I'm out here all the time and there's sometimes I just forget to mention how much I love my float tube you know <laughs> uh, people get all caught up on the robotics and the frame and everything but the guts of this is the outcast super fat cat float tube which is an absolute champion and if you guys have been watching for a while you know I've been using Outcast for over 20 or oh, yeah, 20 years, 20 years. Can't speak well enough about it. So good. If you're looking for a float tube, get one. I'm excited. I saw they have a backpacking float tubes that's very light. So I know next time I go to the Sierras, I want to bring that for sure. Okay. You know, for it supposed to be mostly cloudy, this is a pretty bright day. Um, I gotta put on some sunscreen. You know, my wife works in the skincare industry and she said, I have to try this product. So this is Kopari Antioxidant Face Shield, FPS or SPF 30. If you're wondering, that's that. And I can put a link in there for you guys, if I like it, if I like it. I'm pretty picky about my sunscreen. She had me try these ones in the past and I look like a kabuki. It's got a little pump. It doesn't feel bad like some of them. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing paint. I like the little pump thing. I don't feel greasy. I don't feel sticky. I hate those spray sunscreens that then you sweat in your, it's like having tear gas in your eyes. Ugh. See how I like this? Yeah, I like it. Kopari antioxidant face shield. Huh. Check it out. 
earlier I mentioned about the Sierra Nevadas. I haven't been going there since, gosh, I was 16. My buddy Brad was the first person who took me up there and I absolutely fell in love with it. You know, and over the years, uh, <laughs> give you a throwback picture. How about this one? <laughs> uh, over the years, had such great times up there and I was at the store the other day and uh, I saw this and I just about lost my stuff. Sierra Nevada Summerfest is one of my favorite all time beers. If you've never had this, go get some right now. It just came out. It's a seasonal beer. This is a refreshing summer lager. And I don't have any idea what the uh, ABV is, 5%. I love that sound. Smells like a lager, but it's a little hoppier. So if you've had Sierra, Sierra Nevada Pale Ale, which is one of my all-time favorite beers as well, um, this has a similar vibe to it, except not quite as malty. So it's a little bit more crisp, but it's definitely got the hop bitterness and the aroma that like a Sierra Nevada Pale Ale has. I've spent many a, many a summer day in the Sierra Nevada mountains sipping on these while I was fishing, and they are amazing. Go get some. Family owned and operated and argued over, it says. But, uh, yeah. Giant company. Good for them. Love their beer. Sierra Nevada, if you're watching, cheers to you. You make an amazing product. Now for more fish. This looks nothing like mostly cloudy. I'm still using that uh, quarter ounce Strike King Bitsy Bug is the jig. In case you're wondering, it's that green pumpkin in red. The head's getting pretty worn out because I caught a lot of fish on it been the same jig for three weeks, <laughs> which is pretty good. And then I've been using the uh, Powerbait Fatty Craw in the Green Pumpkin as the trailer. It's hard to change up and do different things when, they're, when it's working. Oh, that's a better one. Not bad. Got a feeling there'd be a couple up in here. All right, you guys ready for a beer? <clears throat> I'm ready for a beer. From Second Chance, it's the Tabula Rasa Porter. Now, porters, though being dark, don't always have to be bitter. Um, this one happens to be 33 IBUs which is the international beer, or pff, international beer, international bitterness units. So it means it's not very bitter. It's a 6.2%. As we are proud of, <clears throat> as proud as we are of numerous Great American Beer Festival medals, you're the real judge. Best porter in the world, taste for yourself. Now I love Second Chance. I've always loved Second Chance. Um, born and bred in San Diego, Marty, the master brewer there, 
uh, was the brewer at Rock Bottom Brewery, um, and then started his own, which is Second Chance. And that was one of my favorite breweries. It just closed. Um, they're still brewing beer, but the tasting room's not open. Now brewed and canned in Jackson, Wyoming. So if you're in Wyoming, check them out over there. But uh, had a picture of my dog Bear at their uh, brewery for years and years. Ooh, roasty. Full-bodied, rich tasting, but not too heavy on the alcohol. Being 6.2%, that is lovely. And I've had this many, many times. Tabula rasa means empty slate in Latin. So this thing has won a lot of medals. Find this beer if you like uh, porters. Check it out. Mm. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. Got some good ones today. Beer and uh, fish. <laughs> Let's get some more. Well, there's our mostly cloudy coming. Oh! oh. beast well it was disappointing but that's the way it goes I just put on a new jig slightly different color slightly different weight because I hadn't been getting hit by anything felt a little bit of pressure and then reeled up and there was nothing there I have to keep reeling Oh, bugger. That's why it's called fishing and not catching. I understand that. Shaking in a bad way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Another one. Woo! All right. 3.6. Nice. Yes. We got this, guys. We got this. Thing was like right below me. I would admit. I was like, look at this weird. I changed up the size from a one quarter to a uh, one eighth. And then I also changed the color. There's no more red. I went with a green pumpkin with pumpkin. I don't know if that's making a difference or the spot. Either way, it's working. That's what matters. I've gotten like five bites since I switched up. That's the first one I actually landed. You saw that one that uh, got away. And that was close to the size of the one I got earlier. You know what, guys? It was a fun day. Got a really nice fish. A couple of them, actually. Now I'm going to go spend some time with the family. You know what, guys? Enjoy. I always enjoy spending time with you guys out here, talking to you. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, share it with a friend. I can't wait to see you guys out on the water. Cheers. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.